you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Guys, real quick, EA did announce during this stream that there is something special, some kind of promo slash drop coming within the next week or so. So it seems likely that about next Friday-ish or next week, we will probably be getting Mud Heroes. I think that was them just confirming. I'm going to toss it into the beginning of the video because I just saw this now, so I got to re-render out that video. But just giving you guys a heads up, I think Mutt Heroes might have just been confirmed. I'll go over the rest of these signature series and all the regular content, but just wanted to give you guys a head up. I think Mud Heroes should be coming within the next week or so, although we kind of already assumed that. They did say something special coming next week, and also we got Mud Tank coming out tomorrow. Stay tuned for that, guys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we got brand new signature series. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm actually, I really do like this guy in real life, although he's having a bit of a poor usage slash outing in the last three weeks, but I do really like him. I'm surprised he got the limited time. I did not think he would get it, considerably coming off a pretty bad week last week. But again, it's probably just the team scheme of why he does bad sometimes, but we don't know yet. But for the, the point here is that we had two great cards got limited times this week, and I'm only surprised really about one of them. It was just kind of a weird guy to give it to, but I'm excited about it. I honestly really want this card. My only issue is that he's going to be too expensive because he's limited time. Kind of wish he was limited time, so I'll probably have to wait until he's a redux next series and I really do want him. But again, I'll have to wait on that and see as far as what's the move on that, guys. Before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. And make sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Let's get this video for a content video. Let's get it to 100 likes. And comment down below what you think of these limited times. So the two limited times that were announced were Sonny Michelle, who was the guy I'm surprised about. Being a Patriots running back, they kind of had to give him weird usage rates. So not surprised that he had a bad week. But again, I'm surprised they even gave him a card because I don't think he was like limited time worthy just yet. But I really like him. And then the other guy was Tredavious White. So we got a cornerback on the Buffalo Bills, White. Definitely well-deserved. White has been balling out. And then Sonny Michelle is really good, but his stats haven't really mirrored that. But again, they gave it to him anyways, which I, like I said, surprised. But I do really want the Sonny Michelle. Quite frankly, I'd really like the Travis White, but I know they're both going to be a ridiculous price. Now, let's head on over to Twitter to go look at Sonny Michelle's stats. And then back to the man screen after to see them on the game when they're out. Okay, guys, so we're now on the Twitter screen right here to go look at Sonny Michelle. Sonny Michelle... 91 overall halfback his eyes are bulging out of his head right there as you guys can see big mouthpiece standard right there now his archetype i always forget i don't the lightning bolt is that the evasive archetype i really do not i really don't know the archetypes too well but i'd imagine he seems like the kind of guy who should be able to get like an arm bar or like a bruising back i don't know he's like he's mixed in real life like he he does have shiftiness but he also has a little bit of power i really don't know what they'd give him on this type of card again archetype guys comment down below what it is because you guys probably know I do like the signature series card art this year. Again, it reminds me of Candyland. You guys ever played that when you guys were a kid, the board game? I don't know. This whole thing, this whole scheme here reminds me of Candyland. He's 48 salary cap for all you salary cap guys. Now he's 5'11. He's a bit shorter. But again, for a running back, that's kind of like average height. He's a bit shorter for other positions, but for running back, not too tiny. Not everyone's Marcus Allen, six foot something. He's 87 speed, which is pretty fast. If you powered him up, he'd have an 88, which is isn't the fastest at this point in the game. You're probably looking towards like a 90 at this point. But again, it's a Sonny Michelle card. I think he's still interesting. He's got 89 Excel, 90 agility, 92 carry. So that's pretty cool. Got some 90 stats right there. 63 catching. He is a better catching back than advertised. Obviously, the Patriots don't use him there because of James White. But his catching, in reality, should be a little bit higher than they give him credit for. But I guess if you don't do it in real life enough, they, they can't value high enough on that. Now, his elusiveness is an 85. Trucking 85 and break tackle 82. I think they did give him lower and 80 stats there than he's well-deserved. It's kind of weird that for a 91 overall, he only has two stats above 90, and quite honestly, they're not that they're useless, but you won't feel, you'll, you'll feel he'll be, he won't fumble, and he'll feel a little shifty, but he's not going to be burning past people, truck people over. He's kind of like the jack of all trades. Still a pretty cool card, in my opinion. I definitely want to pick him up. Remember when Series 3 drops, which won't be for probably like another month and a half. When Series 3 does drop, though, he will have a Redux version of him, so it'll probably be in like the 200k, 300k range, and be pretty cheap to pick up. But by the time he's able to be picked up, he probably won't be so worthwhile. Probably be useless at that point. But, you know, this could have been AB. This could have been Antonio Brown, but he messed up. This could have been a nice signature series AB this week from the Patriots. But he botched that one. So we got Sonny Michelle instead. Oh, awesome rookie for last year out of Georgia. Had an awesome playoff run. He is well-deserved of having one. Now, we're going to go over to the Tredavious White in a second. But for the time being, I was thinking about opening packs for these cards, but we'll probably won't pull any one. And I'm trying to save my coin stack for Mud Heroes. Now I'm going to go watch the special stream real quick, see if Mutt Heroes does get announced or anything. 
and then also go check out your Davis White stats and get back to you guys. So leave you at Sunny Michelle. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, and next we got Tredavious White. I did just hop over to the Madden Twitch stream to go get this card screenshots, obviously, because they're not out of Madden yet. And card looks pretty beastly so far. So he's got 39 as a salary cap for all you salary cap guys. Buffalo Bills Union, obviously. He's got the cool signature thing there, though I can't really make it out. I can kind of make out the W. That's about it. Maybe a T there, W. I don't really know what that A looking thing is for. Uh, I don't really know my script too well. Anyways, Candyland color art, limited time card. He's got that lock right there. I'm guessing that's like man lockdown kind of archetype. Again, I don't really know my archetypes too well. He's five foot eleven, so he's a bit on the smaller side that I like for corner. I like my cornerbacks above six feet. Although you can't always have what you want, right? When it comes to these guys, 88 speed, 90 excel, 88 agility. So right there alone, he has the makings of an athletic beast. Especially because you're gonna, if you have a limited time card, you're probably powering him up because you don't just buy that card. Just you know what I'm saying, like. Especially if you get him for free, like we got last week in the house rules. But if you're going to power him up, 89 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility. He's going to be an athletic freak. He's going to have 77 jumping, which I really don't like. Like, that 77 jumping really hurts this card tremendously. Because when it comes to the way this game plays, like, being out of reach is a big thing this year. Like, you need to really have good positioning, good athletic system to get picks. So having bad jumping will only make what already in this game is bad, is that you don't get a lot of picks that you should get. So you probably will have really a lot of big issues jumping on routes. And jumping on uh, streaks and slants to him and just picking things off that should be well within his range now he does have a 91 play rec which the 91 play rec is really good the 88 man 87 zone 92 press is really good now my personal recommendation if you got a Davis white card you probably want to power him up because then you get him to an 89 man 88 zone and then if you could come up with lockdown you could you can get the um the threshold for his zone and his man you'll have a threshold for his press his play rec and it'll be really athletic he'll probably be the best cornerback in the game albeit the jumping might limit him so i'd have to honestly use this card and see how the jumping feels first obviously it's low but i have to see how much of an impact it really brings on this card because if it has a big impact on this card then it kills the card no matter how good he covers no matter how fast he is if he can't jump and get easy picks it's gonna really hurt this card and i've known i know from experience guys like deon sanders with awesome jumping definitely makes a huge difference in terms of how well those cards perform now i'm on the auction house real quick trying to see if i can find their prices and everything for you guys but these cards are never posted for the first like 20 minutes it never happens i'm already kind of used to this at this point now if i had to recommend them who would i rather have sonny michelle or tredavious white obviously tredavious white sonny michelle is a middle of the road running back it's going to be overpriced tredavious white's going to be a very top tier cornerback that's overpriced now the only difference is one of them is really usable one of them is not so much i would love a sonny michelle because i'm a big fan but as far as going to say like i want to i'll pick him up probably not being completely honest if I was to get Sonny Michelle, it'd have to be a Redux version, and that'd be about it, and that'd be next series, and by then he wouldn't even be worth it. Tredavious White, on the other hand, I would definitely love to have him. Would I go out of my way for him? Probably not. Rather just get Redux uh, Desmond Trufant. Similar cards, similar stats, better jumping, in my personal opinion. Looking at him right now, let's head back on over to the Madden screen. Back on the Madden screen, as you guys can see, Desmond Trufant. Powered up and chemmed up, he will have the man threshold, the man threshold, zone threshold, press threshold, play rec threshold, way better jumping, similar athleticism, if not better. So I think that Desmond Trufant would be an awesome other option, and obviously you don't have to pay that price for him. Come over to Series Redux, come right over here, and let's see where Desmond Trufant 400k, a lot cheaper than what he's going to be going for on the auction house when uh, Tredavious White obviously drops. That might even actually bring Trufant down a little bit, which could definitely help. Although I probably I doubt it will do too much damage to Trufant's value. Just because they're limited time cards it's kind of there's not enough of them being pulled to really affect them in my personal opinion now guys my personal opinion on signature series in the past few weeks they've been pretty good some have been lackluster guys like Devonte adams lackluster philip rivers lackluster but i'm not going to be honest eddie jackson lackluster a few of them have been pretty bad but there's been some good ones cameron jordan was okay and maybe i'm just saying that because that's what i got out of the pack desmond trufant was really good i really like christian mccaffrey there's been a few there's been a few good ones I'm gonna be honest with you guys although i want some more the only issue with these cards again is that it's hard to get excited because they are limited time so the bulk majority of like 80 percent of the madden community maybe 90 percent can't even afford them so it's hard to get too excited about them it's, it's nice to dream about cards that we could have but it just really sucks when signature series limited time cards are going to be really overpriced and their stats don't match like if you're going to be that overpriced they better have some crazy stats on these limited time cards that was always a cool thing back in the older maddens like madden 13 madden 14 25 like those days Back then, like a car was limited time, he had some crazy stats, he had some crazy overall. Nowadays, they give us a card with the same stats as other cards, except they have a limited time tag on them and mark them up twice the price. That's what kind of sucks about this this year. 
but we're getting used to it obviously it was nice last year because you could just power pass and now you can't so that's still we're back we're, we're, we're like in a weird area where limited time cards are overpriced but their stats also don't match what they're worth and you can't power pass them so they're kind of just like just there which is kind of probably why they did the series redux they realized limited times are kind of dead as a bulk part of this game now guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys that'd be greatly appreciated i know it's a content video so let's get 100 likes you guys have been showing crazy support again never could have imagined from 2k subscribers from 100 subscribers that we'd be at almost 10k already so thank you guys for all the crazy support keep it coming hit that like button make sure to turn on that noti bell guys i've been forgetting to say that one but that's important too definitely helps when i post time sensitive content that you guys are there on time show some love right away and you guys get some good info as quickly as i can get it out and hit that subscribe button boys if you're new if you're old if you're loyal thank you guys so much for watching comment down below which is your favorite signature series and also go over to twitter poodle underscore yt hit me up there for any direct advice questions hints tips anything you guys need and if you guys got any video ideas always hit me up over there people always give me good video ideas and i use them all the time even shout them out on here if i get a good one but that's it guys thank you for watching i'm out see you guys later thank you guys peace